Hey there everyone! Welcome back to my channel, and in today's video, I've got something incredibly exciting to share with you all. We're diving into the world of RL Craft to show you how to farm race rings. But before we delve into the baubles and items, let's talk about a crucial concept. Luck. What exactly is luck, and what does it do in RL Craft? Well, luck in RL Craft is determined by the weight and quality of each item. It's like your lucky charm in the game. Having higher luck means you're more likely to receive better loot from certain loot tables. So, essentially, the higher your luck, the better your chances of scoring awesome loot. Now, let's apply this knowledge to our baubles. For this build, we're going all in on lucky quality for our baubles. Take a look at our setup. The cross necklace enhances survivability. The dragon's eye provides night vision, fire resistance, and immunity from hyperthermia. Swap it for an ice dragon's eye if you're in a winter biome. Broken Heart gives you extra survivability. Shield of Honor lets you ignore the sixth hit from mobs. The Ring of Free Action allows you to move freely through cobwebs. Keep a Lucky Clover handy, it drops from Mimics for an additional two luck. And the Stone of Greater Inertia boosts your movement speed and jump for evading those pesky parasites. Finally, the Ankh Shield ensures maximum protection from most debuffs in the Lost City. However, if you don't have some of these baubles yet, don't fret you can substitute them with similar ones. For example, you can replace the Stone of Greater Inertia with the Arcing Orb, which gives you an extra 25% movement speed. Just remember that without the Lucky Clover, you'll lose those extra two luck points. Now, on to our armor choice. We're going with the Leather Armor set, and don't forget to upgrade the helmet to Lucky Quality. Why? Because it grants an additional 0.5 luck. The reason behind this choice is that with this armor you can remain invisible to mobs. Using other armor sets will render your potion of invisibility useless, as mobs will still spot you. For our weapon, we're wielding a pike for its passive ability, Reach 2 which extends your reach for looting chests from a distance. You can choose any pike, but I prefer the ice dragon pike. Upgrading it to masterful quality will give you an extra 0.5 reach distance, when it comes to enchantments, the only one you really need is Luck Magnification, but feel free to add more if you like. Remember, this build isn't designed for combat. It's all about maximizing your luck for better loot from chests. Now, let's talk potions. Before entering the Lost City, make sure you have Reach, so you can loot from a distance, Invisibility to stay hidden from mobs, Flight will give you ability to fly and for easy navigation, and Battle Burrito to keep you going surviving. Don't forget to bring plenty of high-quality wines. Quality 75 or higher is recommended. You'll need them to stay alive in the Lost City. Lastly, keep some warp scrolls handy for a quick trip back to your base if needed. And remember, even if you're invisible, some mobs like Primitive Yellow Eyes, Adapted Yellow Eyes, Flying Carriers, Heavy Carriers, Overseers, Light Bombers, Heavy Bombers, and Assimilated Ender Dragons can still detect you. So, avoid them as much as possible and keep your music amp, sound settings on to hear any approaching threats while looting chests. Now that we're fully prepared, it's time to venture into the Lost City. Our first target is the Fairy Ring, which grants creative flight and an additional 2 luck. This will significantly boost our chances of obtaining the rarest race ring, the Dragon Ring. So there you have it folks, if you found this video helpful and exciting, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more amazing content, and ring that notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time, happy gaming, and I'll catch you in the next video.